Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, what I am going to show you is how to create the Key Vault in Azure portal and also explain you how the soft delete feature and the purge protection helps us in protecting the secrets, key, certificate or even the Key Vault itself. Come, let's dive in. I have logged into my Azure portal and here you can actually create a resource by clicking create resource or search here directly as Key Vault. So once you search Key Vault, click on the Key Vault and I already have the Key Vault and explain you uh, one of the features in these Key Vaults and let's go ahead and create a new Key Vault. So click on the Create and you just need to provide the subscription and then the resource group. So I'm going to choose the existing resource group. So I'm going to choose this one. Okay. You can also choose if you have already one or you can also create a new one. Remember, I will or you should also tell it if you do use the resources that you're creating. Okay, so that's why the resource groups are there. So once you finish your demo, once you learn how to do it, if you're not using it, don't forget to clean up the resource by just deleting the resource group. Everything else will be deleted. All right. So I'm going to name a key vault name as demo soft delete perch. And then I'm going to choose the region as the east US and then the pricing tier is standard for our demo. This is sufficient. And uh, if you look at this, this is the important piece. Okay. So by default with the current system, the soft delete is enabled earlier you had an option to enable and disable but microsoft has made mandatory to get it enabled by default okay so what is soft delete so soft delete is basically when you delete something you can able to retry what you have deleted in the secret or the key or the certificate okay and then here if you see the number of days to retain the deleted vault is default is 90 days minimum is 70 days if you type three it is going to tell you the minimum is seven days. So let's go with seven. And the next one is the important one. So purge protection. So purge protection means basically uh, once you delete something and then it goes to the soft delete state and what happens, uh, you wanted to delete that also from the soft delete, like completely wipe off from the system. Then yes, with this one disabled, you can do that. But when you enable this, what will happen is once an item has been deleted and goes to the soft delete state, recoverable state, you cannot delete that. You cannot purge the one that you deleted, meaning you cannot permanently delete that until the days here mentioned goes and finishes off. So if you delete something today from day from today, after seven days only, you can actually uh, purge it, meaning you yourself cannot purge it. The system will purge it by itself. Okay. We can always recover it, but you cannot force delete it. That is what this means. So let's go ahead and do uh, the default one and then I'll show you how to enable it later. So let's go to the final one. We don't need the rest of the small, small items. So this is all basic things and then everything is good. Let's click on create deployment initiator. Let's wait for a few seconds to finish. All right. After a few seconds, deployment is completed. Let's go to the resource. So you can see this is the cable that is created and and in the overview blade, you can see the soft delete is by default enabled and the purge protection is disabled by default. So let's take an example. Let's go ahead and click on a secrets and let's create a secret. Okay. So the secret that I'm going to create is sample one. Okay. So I'm just going to give some value. It doesn't matter for now. We are going to look at what the soft delete is. So I'm going to create this. The sample one is created. So if I come here, I will be having an option to delete it. But let's go back. So you will generally have a lot of secrets with different versions or even the keys and the uh, the certificate. So if there are applications which is using any of these, if you delete this, what will happen? The application which is using this is broken, correct? So by mistake or accidentally, if this has been deleted like this, right, it goes away. And if this secret has been used by an application, that's it done the application cannot access this and we're gone right everything is screwed up so how do we do this how do we protect this so if this happens because of the soft delete by default it is enabled i can actually go and restore it so if you look at the sys secrets i can see manage delete secret okay so deleted secrets will come here so now it is not appearing here because i have noticed that azure is taking some time to get this deleted one appear here okay so i'll give an example let's go back and open up the one which i already have so if i go to this one if we go to secrets 
I had some secrets and I have deleted some secrets. So the deleted secret is being displayed here. So similarly, so if you go to our newly created key vault and if you keep refreshing here, definitely this will come. And if it comes, it will look like this. So the sample one, which we deleted will come up here here. So what you can do is you can actually select one or more of the secrets and you can actually click on recover. So now let's take a look at another example. I have another key vault and then I'm going to the secret. If you go to manage deleted secrets, I can see some secrets coming up, right? So I can click on this and I can do a recover, which will restore these two back to this one. But you see this, the purge is disabled. Okay. I cannot purge this. I cannot delete this. So let's take a look at why we cannot delete this. If you see this purge protection is enabled. If I enable the purge protection by clicking here, so currently the one that we have is disabled. Okay, so once you change this to enable and do a save, which cannot be reverted. And once that is enabled, any secrets that you delete, you can actually restore it. So if I click here, click on recovery and it is restored it. Okay, it takes some time to come here. Like I said, right, it always takes some time to come here, but you cannot select something on purge because the purge protection is disabled. So as long as the seven days or the number of days that has been recorded goes away, right? It passes those days only then the system will automatically delete it. We cannot delete it. Okay. Now let's go back and see what happens to us. See, I said, right? So after some time, if you refresh, this will come. If you click here, I can do a recover, but I cannot purge it. Okay. So now let's go back to our overview. So right now the purge protection is disabled. So ideally we should be able to delete this right we can purge this but the purge is still not happening that is because by default purge is the highest operation meaning accidentally you should not delete the deleter one so the privileges for deleting such purge operation is disabled by default so in order to gain that access let's go to access policy and click on the users and do an edit which is myself and if you see under secret permission the purge is not enabled. So if I give the purge protection, the, the option access to the purge and do a next and then save. Okay. Now if I go back to my secret, go to manage deleted secret. If I select this purge is enabled. Good. So if I have an higher permission with the purge, I will be able to delete it when the purge is disabled. Okay. So this way I can purge it and then it will permanently delete it. That's it. Now, whatever is gone is gone. No way even Microsoft can restore it. Okay. It's completely gone out of the system. So let's quickly recap it. Soft delete is enabled by default, which will help us to restore a deleted secret or a key or a certificate. And when we do so, if we have to force delete what we have already deleted, the purge protection should be disabled and the user who's trying to do that should have the higher privilege. In order to give the privilege, he has to go to the access policy, select that user, click on edit and give the appropriate permission here, the purge permission for the secret, the purge permission for the keys, the purge permission for the self create. Okay. So if a user has all the purge permission, then what will happen? Probably he will be able to delete the secret or the key or the certificate. Okay. And then if the purge protection is enabled, Irrespective of what access you have, once you delete something, you can restore it. You cannot force delete it. System will delete it after the number of days that we saw in the first clip finishes. Like if it is seven days, 90 days, all these days should go away. Only then the system will clean up by itself. This will help us to save something which is accidentally deleted. Now, let me tell you something interesting. So if you come and click on key vault. Okay, so what if, if the key vault itself is deleted? So let's say I'm gonna delete this key vault. Okay, by mistake, if this delete, if this key vault was deleted, key vault itself is deleted. Okay, so now if I come to key vaults, okay, at the key vault itself, there is something called managed deleted vaults. So here you come here and select the subscription because for one login, you can have many subscription. So as soon as you select the subscription, whatever was deleted, all the key vault will start appearing. Actually, you can restore it or purge it. Okay. Meaning again, this is based on the access policy of that user. Okay. I have the highest privilege. So I'm having more the access, but you can actually do a restore or a purge. I'm going to do a purge. 
everything is completely deleted okay so if i see error that's basically because um the purge protection was enabled so those key wall that i created should just go away you know according to that number of days that i was selected all right thanks guys i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and i'll happy to help you thank you thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon